Hello everybody, Daniel here. Black and White 2 battles, who would have thought they'd be on my channel? And not only that, it's a Little Cup battle as well. Something that you obviously would not expect me to do, but here we are anyway. I made this team in a couple of days time, as did Sasha, the person I am playing right now, the uh, lovely lass there. And I decided to start pretty much randomly with Julba because look how cute it is. You can't lie, that is some cute badassery. Anyway, I get the box up as you do. And I'm thinking I don't want to stay and get another energy ball because it will kill me. Probably any attack that I think would have would kill me. So I thought I'd switch. Turns out we're going to double switch. So a bubble sword comes in, a shiny kind of unwell looking one. Comes up against my carriage with the same colour tone. And that's not particularly beneficial for me. But I think Bulbasaur is going to put me to sleep because that's what Bulbasaur does in Little Cup. And I have a lumbar so I'm really not bothered about that in the slightest. Also... It was a good um, protection in case Sludge Bomb came, because I think I can live at plus one against one. Anyway, I fire Bug Buzz off, expecting to be uh, put to sleep again. But actually, this does not happen at all. So I get out, you know, I got out maneuvered really. Because Sludge Bomb, even plus one special defense, did a lot. But she switches out rather than goes for a, a um, set kill, because obviously I couldn't defeat her from that health range. But I actually decided the baton pass out. You know, I thought that would be a pretty cool thing to do. Pretty pretty rare-ish thing to do. Anyway, um, I bring in my Frillish because what I wanted to switch into with their Calm Mind boost would not be suitable against uh, our mini version of Infernape there. Um, but unfortunately the Thunder Punch that I get hit with paralyzes, as it does, a 1 in 10 shot, but never mind. I get the kill, obviously, on our little weird equivalent of our, our little fiery monkey doodah. Anyway, Bulbasaur comes back in and I really have well, no hope, frankly, but I'm just curious to see what she does. So I um, stay in, and unfortunately I'm a Hex variant rather than a Shadow Ball, so that did absolutely nothing. But I'm thinking she's going to try and uh, either Energy Ball or Giga Drain me. It doesn't really matter, because if I switch out, anything's going to take a reasonable hit. And if I predicted incorrectly and she used uh, Sludge Bomb, and I brought something like Hound Dower in, it would be all sorts of bad. So I bring it in now, knowing that it's safe, because Hound Dower's got monumentally poor defences and she brings in a clamp pearl. Can you believe clamp pearls legitimately in Little Cut with their deep seed tooth? Unbelievable. Anyway, I use Slain Charge so that I know that I could outspeed whatever came in as long as I didn't have a priority move. So I know I'm going first and I think after doing a mental calculation I can come close if not KO it. But I don't quite get there. And because it has rattled combined with the shell spots because it's now going to outspeed anything outside of a priority move I'm going to freeze frame here though. What I should have done was use flame charge a second time. That would have done enough health and would have allowed me to have plus two speed as well as clamp pearl, meaning I would have outsped and killed with dark pulse. Never mind, we all make mistakes. Let's uh, unfreeze this frame now. There we are. Um, so unfortunately, I know I'm going to get outsped, but I have nothing that can you know come in and enjoy getting a surf off a clamp pearl with a deep sea too. So I have to let the Hound Hour die after my really quite inept decision making. But luckily I do have a priority move in the form of Fake Out, so it's not too bad. And because I had Stealth Fox up, she couldn't switch out because she would have come in and fainted immediately. So Vullaby comes in, or Vullaby, or whatever you want to help, what the hell you want to call it. Weird, dark, egg bird thing. Um, I don't really have a set counter for this, so I decided to run away and go back to Jewelry because I'm thinking... Well, odds are I'm probably going to be quicker than it, so the flinch effect will come into play. And I'm thinking that an air slash or something of that type from it without it being boosted is probably not going to kill me. So I go for a rock slide and it does less than half and I'm thinking, oh, weak. But I've got another shot of getting a flinch here and if I get the flinch I can't really lose to Bullaby. So I go for it again, hoping to get a flinch and I do. To be fair, uh, the chance of me getting a flinch either of those times was about 42%. So, you know, 13-30, doing it twice. They had 42% chance. Anyway, the Abba comes in, and I know I'm not going to kill it. You know, I had to um, go for Rock Slide just in case, because the Vullabee is a much bigger threat to me than the Abra. And I bring in my Apom, knowing that I'll probably live even a Psychic if she'd chosen to use it. And she chose to use Energy Ball instead, which I am perfectly fine with. And I can fake out for a kill, which is most lovely. And I am more than knowledgeable knowing that this is going to die from Stealth Rock as it comes in. So I don't have to worry about that either. And we're getting close to the end now, folks. But unfortunately, 
we've got a bit more of a pain in the bum first. This isn't the pain in the bum. I think how oh, I can just return and kill this straight off the bat. And it turns out I am correct in that. So I am very, very happy about that. But unfortunately, this is where things get a bit hairy. Um, Axew, as we know, likes to start up with Dragon Dance and then sweep the damn ass. And I don't have a set count for this. I don't have a Steel type either. So I decided to bring the uh, Cabbage Patch bug in, really, just as fodder, just to uh, try and um, wear down the Outrage counter, is what I'm hoping she'll go for, and she does. She goes for Outrage, so I just let Swaddle die. There's not a lot I could have done now, anyway. But I let Apo in. That's a reference to Ben and Jerry's Chunky Monkey Flavor Ice Cream. Not a rude word, by the way. And because I know how um, Outrage works, I can still continue the Confusion Timer, even though I've got it to flinch from Fake Out. So the Outrage, despite the fact it wasn't used the second time, confused Axew, and luckily it hit itself, and that is what really made this battle a lot shorter than it could have been. It would have been a lot closer. I think I would have won, even uh, if that hadn't happened. It's a coin toss every time. But thank you very much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out. If you enjoyed the video you've just seen, please join my Facebook group and follow me on Twitter for the latest news.